Yes, Ashton, and of course, it is a new school year for DPS, and they start with a new superintendent. All right, so we're going to hear from him right now. Justin Adams live with Alex Marrero, and uh, just an exciting day for uh, the new superintendent. 100% the first day on the job really for him we look at the first day of school so a very exciting day for Alex Moreo the new superintendent of Denver Public Schools and number one gotta ask you I know you're excited super from New York excited. yes we're excited well the number one thing is what could people from Denver Public Schools expect under your leadership oh great question yeah. there we go asking about me I love it Justin <laughs> um, I'm excited about this day and I hope that I'm not too loud to wake up all these lovely folks who may not have any school bound children um, in terms of parents, what you can expect is someone who's going to lend more than just an ear. So I want to hear from you all. So I can't wait, uh, although this is a great time right now that we're experiencing, so I can get online on the bus route, but also those drop-offs so I can engage with the parents. So you have someone who's going to listen and try to implement what you think DPS needs. Now, speaking of implementing some things, one of the things that DPS does have now are mask mandates. Everyone to and older must, must wear their mask. It doesn't matter if you're a visitor, if you're a student, if you're staff as well. What are some other things that Denver Public Schools are doing? Doing to make sure that kids are safe from COVID. So that's right. Mask when we're indoors, right? So we're maskless because we're out here enjoying uh, the free air with these nice gnats that are floating around us, right, Justin? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, aside from the mask, we have our DPS5 that uh, parents should be familiar with it. So we can continue with that, making sure that we're safe and secure. So everything that is self monitoring, but also making sure that we disclose. Um, and I think that the mask plus our DPS5 has really, really, and plus the year that has been in the 18 months. Our ratio, can I share that? Mm -hmm. In terms of those who want to be in person is well over 90,000. Wow. Now we have 93,000 uh, or so students. We have uh, no more than 1,200 who've requested online. So yeah. mask and all those other uh, deterrents and those mitigation strategies work. Plus, we know that we do our best work right in those buildings. All right, now before I let you go, you know, Dominic Garcia and Michelle as well, they're both DPS grads, just like just myself like as well, you. just like me. All right, so as we send it back to them, what are some things that excite you about the school year this year? What are some things that could excite them? Don, Michelle, pleasure to meet you. Looking forward to seeing you. And I mean that intimately, meaning in person. So although I've met this lovely gentleman, I want to meet you too in an alumni event. Just like I want to hear from parents, I want to hear from you as well. How can we spark the interest and get our folks who have gone through our hallways and our classrooms motivated so we can make sure that we have leaders like you tomorrow? Sounds like he has decided, huh, Dom? Alex Morel, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you. First day of school, everybody. Yeah, yes. It's, I got a little hype. That's right. excitement. I excited. know. I know. <laughs> there is. There is a lot of excitement, and there's a lot of pride. As yeah. a DPS grad and a GW grad, I, I have a lot of pride for GW, that. GW, TJ Montbello, mm -hmm. Justin, that's awesome. Representing all right here. All right. Thanks. Best of luck to everyone. In